already told you because it matches so you're not up answering exactly me. You're not answering me. You're not answering. That is What's the context? This time, I got the children of Israel coming back. They don't even know it. What's the it's prophecy? It's so no. sad and pathetic. Chapter 17, verse 100. What does it say? For goodness sake. Do you know, I've met a few Muslims See, who know the Quran. See, you're quoting the verse. You don't Most even know what it them, says. I get you the Quran. Okay. And we said to the children of Israel after him, dwell in the land. But when the promise of the hereafter comes to pass, we shall bring you as a crowd gathered out of various nations. Can, can, I, can I read that? Can I see that? Which one? Which one? If you really never ever read the Quran. Which one? Chapter 17, verse 104. Okay. We shall bring you gathered out of the nations. Okay, that means that... The same as in the Torah and the Christian Gospels. So that means the, the Jews have the right to establish a state in, 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 that's in right, Palestine. That's right. It doesn't say this in the Quran. Exactly. If what's read, the, what's the exegesis read, of this verse? If you read all, if you read all the three holy books which he sent down, he clearly said to the Moses, enter the promised land, but you will not keep my Torah correctly. I will expel you from around the world, but I will bring you back, eventually I'll bring you back to the land of your forefathers. One so at a time, are, one at a time. And it's happened. And Jesus Can I confirmed speak? that. Can I speak? Fine, you asked me a question, I was answering Yeah, and then I'm going to ask another question. Go on, then. What is the What is the exegesis of this com of this verse? What's the commentary? You What's the explanation? You either believe it No, no, there's... See... The Quran says the Quran is written in simple verses. Mm -hmm. I trust that, but you Muslims, you twist and twist and twist it. That's why you're a godforsaken people. During the golden age of Islam, they didn't twist their Quran. Okay. If it says something, you believe it. That's why the Quran was set down as a clear book. Can I speak? For all mankind. 104. 104. 17, 104. Yeah, sort of right. Now, I lost my track of thoughts. Yes, so you said you don't twist the words of the, of the Quran and don't do that, right? The Quran itself says you should take whatever the Prophet commands you. What's the explanation of this verse? Don't need it. You don't need it? And he just declared it as uh, Jews have the right to, to return to the land, and that's it. You don't need it. No, hang on. If no, you're going to make... Answer. No, I'll answer. You wait, ask me a question. Wait, wait. Let you me finish. Me I know. Let me finish. I did not say that. Let me finish. Let me finish. I did not say that. You Let put words in my mouth. Let me finish. Don't put words in my mouth. Let me then. finish. Let me finish. If you're going to make an argument based on a verse, your argument has to be complete. Yes, that means... I didn't. I did yes, not you just, did. just on that. Yes, you just did. What I said, no, if you listen, the context, the context of that verse listened, is talking about Pharaoh. They're talking about it has nothing to do. Yeah, I know. I'm just asking. You. Now, you if you what I said, I said the Jewish Torah and the Christian Gospels all can talk about that as well. Quran's a small book. Torah is five times larger with a lot more information. It goes into great detail about how they will come back. Even yes, your Quran says. It's, a, it's a, a reminder of what God said down before. If you want to know more, read what God said down in the Torah and the Christian Gospels. Are you done? And it tells you in great detail about the Jews returning. Are you done? Yes. Now, again, um, you, said three, you said three books. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking, I'm talking about the Quran. You quoted a verse. My question is, what does that verse mean? What's the context? What's the exegesis of that verse? You're making an argument based on that. Your argument has to be complete. What's the, what's, what's the context no, of that? Do you know, it doesn't have to be complete? Do you know, I've got several Qurans at home, and they've all got different things with different meanings. Yeah. English so, Qurans and the English language. English Qurans, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. English. yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 translation. Yeah, yeah. So, as far as I'm concerned, if anything in the Quran, Torah, and Gospel all matches up, that's enough. Yeah, now, but you don't. If the Quran is such a bad book that you can't trust it, what does that say about Muhammad and Allah? They can't even send a book down that you can trust. No, no, they can send a book down, but some people don't know how to read, some people don't know how the context, some people don't want but to know now the context. We're literate. I'm asking. Everyone can read the Quran. Everyone can read the Quran. It's a clear, easy to read book. Yeah, but I there's an explanation. There's something called it. context. I there's... understood it. You can do it, Mr. Director. <laughs> but there's context. What's the context of that verse? And I've already told you because it matches. So you're not up answering exactly me. You're not answering me. You're not books. answering. That is What's the context? What is the commentary? What's the explanation? What's the exegesis? What is that? Tell me. I maintain. Quran is a good book you can read and trust. If it isn't, 
thrown away and become a Christian you're not you can the trust question. the Christian gospel. You're not you can the trust the Christian gospel. You're not answering my question. You don't need someone to tell you what it means. You don't need someone to tell you what it means. If your book is so unreliable as you describe it... I didn't describe it as unreliable. You, you, no, again, you say you can't again, trust it. You, you need someone I didn't else say that. to tell you what you it means. It. I didn't say you cannot no, trust no, no, no. it. You quoted a verse. My question was, what is the commentary? What's the explanation? What's the context? What's the reason this verse was revealed? The words me. The words of God are clear, self-explanatory. And the reason why the Muslim world is the most backward godforsaken place on the planet is because you twist your cross and it says that, but really it means this. Nah, 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 nah. See, you still have not answered my question. <laughs> now, I've answered you several times. No, you have not. And even though I told I said, you the reason I trust I said, it I said, is two reasons. I trust the Quran as it's given, and also when it ties up with the other two books. He's, he's not going to answer you. He's going to say Muslims enough. are backwards. But uh... you will justify your backwardness for See, and I, have, I have a question for you, please. Uh, my English is not so good, but it's okay. I come from France. You say that Israel is the first in this land, but it's false. No, it's I, never said it's that. Land. I never said that. You put words in my mouth. I never said that. Okay, now answer you know my the question. Canadian answer was my the question. First. What is the commentary? What's the context? What does the... You keep saying that again and again. Yeah, because I you're not answering it again and again. Even though you think your Quran is not good enough, a book, okay, okay. to be able to read okay, wait, and wait, believe wait. it. Wait. It's, yeah, you said yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, your Quran. Yeah. And you said, I've been to Muslim countries. I'm not surprised is, they are the way they are. Just look at the Muslim yeah, yeah. world. So, so, wait, 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 hold on. You, you keep saying your Quran, right? You keep saying your Quran, right? So I know what better than you. Now ask me. No, now you answer don't. Me. No, you don't. It's mine. Now answer me. So What's why is it so backward that people like you say you know the Quran? Why is the Muslim world so backward? Do you know, during the golden age of Islam, every invention came by God to the Muslims. Since that ended, What's your name? not one invention has come out of the Muslim world. What's Allah Algebra? has given every... Algebra? I said since the golden age of Islam ah, ended. Okay. Okay, okay. In the last... Yes, not one invention has God given to the Muslims. I've asked you the same Everything question. Everything has gone to the Christian and Jewish world. We trust our only books. Okay. You should trust yours. You okay. don't. Okay. You're backwards. Hard luck. So, uh, one last time, one last time. I've asked you the same question over five times. And you you're not have... stupid. You're not smart enough to listen to my answer. You are a no, true no, son no. of the third world. I gave you my answer clearly each no, time. You did not. No, you did and not. you keep See, saying me... I haven't answered. No, 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 no. Let me summarize. No, thanks. I'm a good, strong person. So there we are. When I ask anyway, you, when I ask you what's the context, you keep saying nice are backwards. In the Muslim world has been invented in the non-Muslim world. Everything what? Radios invented outside the Muslim uh -huh. world. Television invented outside the Muslim world. Mm -hmm. Telephones invented outside the Muslim world. Uh -huh. Tele mobile phones outside the Muslim world. The internet outside the Muslim world. The film industry, everything. He's not answering world. anything. Not He's... one good thing has come from the Muslim world.